Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you another diaper bag. This one I don't think you will have heard of yet because it hasn't come out quite yet. This is the Ethan and Emma diaper bag. They do have some products on Amazon, I think like a stroller caddy and one other thing that I'm blanking on. But this is a diaper bag that they're going to be launching very soon on Kickstarter. I think it's coming out mid-June. I will leave some details down below as soon as I get them. But this bag is wonderful. This bag was sent to me by Ethan and Emma, and I just want to touch on that really quick before I get into all of the things I want to show you guys. So as a YouTuber, even a small one like myself, occasionally brands will reach out to you and ask you to review a product for them. Whenever brands reach out to me like that, I have a pretty straightforward response that I tend to give them, and that's basically, sure, send me your products, it's not going to hurt anything. I don't guarantee any kind of promotion, any kind of content, any kind of video until I've tried the product and I really, really like it. And I can be 100% honest with you guys and say that there have been several items that I have specifically just said based on what they sent me. I didn't want to even have the product, I didn't even want to try it. And then there have been some that I've sent back. Um, this is one of the bags that I've tried recently that I did not want to send back and I'm very excited to have this and very excited to show it to you guys because I think a lot of you would really, really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all of the outside features of the bag. I just took out everything that was in it. It's all spread around this table in front of me. But I wanted to kind of show you guys what this bag was like and what it looked like before I showed you all of my stuff in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Starting with the outside of the bag, you get this pretty generous sized pocket in the front. And I love that the zipper pulls are double on every single pocket except for the back one and the bottle sides, which you'll see. This is perfect. It has basically just one big slip pocket in the back, which you can tuck stuff in that you want to keep a little bit more secure. And then you get a pretty generous pocket here where you could put all kinds of things, which I will show you here in just a minute. The bottle pockets are similar to the pockets on the Jujube B Sporty, if you're familiar with that bag. So this is an insulated pocket that's really quite generous, and then it has a zipper that goes all the way around. This one is set up pretty much the same way, except this one does not have the insulation. What's cool about this one is that it has a magnetic slot right here. And that is designed so that you could put a package of wipes in here, and that they will stay um, moist, basically, which I think is super cool. On the back, you get a zipper pocket that goes across the entire width of the bag, and I would say that's about six or seven inches deep. Very soft um, backpack straps. D-rings on the top, which you can attach the included stroller clips to. I don't have them attached because I tend to just use the hooks that I have on either of my strollers, but it does come with these stroller straps if you need them. On the front, there's almost like a hidden pocket here. So that's perfect for a cell phone or like chapstick or whatever else. And then before I show you the rest of the inside of the bag, it does come with a change pad that has like an elastic band around it. Very typical size for a change pad, maybe even just a little bit larger than some of the change pads that I have. And like I said, it has the elastic. I love how easy that is just to basically put back away. I tend to use smaller change pads in my bags, but if you are somebody who likes to use like a thicker, soft change pad, this is a really, really great one. And this is machine washable. Another cool but kind of random thing is that it comes in this really pretty microfiber dust bag. So I love this. You could totally use this for something else if you wanted, but I know it's just kind of fun to get packaging that is pretty. All right, now we can get into the bulk of the bag. The first pocket, like the rest, have double zippers, and these go all the way down on both sides, and it comes completely forward. And an Oreo. <laughs> Now before any of you start panicking, because this is just like the Juju B BRB and that's one of the things that everyone hates about the BRB, I think you'll be excited when I show you the rest of the bag. But I love this design for this bag specifically because you can always hang the grab handle up on something and then you have the whole bag to work with if you do want to hang it. So you get the mesh pocket on this side which had a zipper on the bottom and the top which make the main pocket accessible from the top or the bottom. Right here you get a big slip pocket which has two sections if you want it to have the sections. It has magnetic snaps here which you can leave open to make it one big pocket or you can snap them shut if you want it to be two separate pockets which ends up being like the perfect size for diapers and wipes. And then up here which is really cool it has a detachable wet bag. So this snaps with each corner and it comes apart. It's PU aligned and is completely wet proof. I tend to use this as kind of as like an extra pocket in my bag, bag, but I have used it for like an emergency if I needed somewhere to store a blowout outfit. It's perfect to be able to pop it in here and then throw this in the wash when I get home and then put it back in the bag when it's all clean and dry. 
All right, next there is a middle pocket and I would call this kind of like the main portion of the diaper bag. These only go down to the bottle pockets on either side and then it opens nice and wide so you can still see everything you need to see. And in the back here you will see you've got three elasticized pockets which are all insulated. These hold a full size swell bottle if you have one, otherwise it's great for small like food pouches and stuff, which is what I tend to use it for. And then you get the same thing here, a big slip pocket in the front, a big slip pocket up here, but this one has the magnetic snaps again, so you could have it divided and have two sections if you'd like, or keep it as one big slip. And same with the back. You have the exact same situation where you can use the magnetic snaps that are provided in order to make two compartments or just leave it as one big one. And then this pocket is really cool. It only has the one zipper on this back pocket and it goes down not quite as far as the middle pocket. And this is the full width of the full width and the full length of the bag and it is pat padded. So this would be perfect for a laptop, books. So I absolutely love this. And then there's just another zipper pocket up here in case you wanted to store something that's pretty small there. But this is one of the reasons why I was completely sold on this bag, is that it is so versatile. And if you know me, <laughs> I love to pouch pack. But with this bag, I barely use any pouches. It's about the only bag I've ever used that I had no compulsion <laughs> to really use pouches. I think I have my first aid stuff and I have my hair stuff in pouches. Otherwise, everything else is pouch free. <laughs> so that's really awesome, just because there is so much built-in organization into this bag. And it's quite large without seeming huge and bulky. And I think because of the gold hardware, it still kind of gives you this very like cool edgy vibe. <laughs> I don't know, when I wear this, I feel kind of sporty and sexy. So that's one of the things that I really, really like about it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I have it packed up now, starting with the outside of the bag. Sippy cup, which I put in the one insulated bottle pocket. I generally leave this one empty for inevitably another drink that we pick up along the way. Or it's been a really great pocket to put like garbage and trash and receipts or whatever else. It's just a great pocket that I can empty out then when I'm done with my trip. The front pocket is mainly stuff for me. So I've got my wallet, which I put in the front, my clip-a-clip, my chapstick, which I put in this top kind of like hidden pocket, I guess, my pen gem pen, my lotion, checkbook and gum, which I typically slide in that back slip. And that's all that I put in there, but as you can see, there's plenty of room if I wanted to, sh I usually have my, like, my sunglasses or like anything little and extra that I want to throw in. Oh, my measuring tape, I forgot that. I have my mini wipe pouch, which I like to keep in the back of the bag just to have some wipes that are really easily accessible. I will occasionally put that in this pocket, or sorry, this pocket, and then I actually do use the little slip then to get them out. But I really like having this pocket reserved for like trash and stuff, and the wipes just go so well in this pocket and that's where I tend to leave them. On the back D-rings is where I hang some of my other stuff. So I have a passy pod from Jujube in the Monarch print. Pocket back, but from Bath & Body Works. My Pokemon Go Plus, because I'm a huge nerd. And then I do have this little Logan and Lenora like keychain, um, I don't tassel. And I like to put that on the one of the zipper pulls for the middle pocket. It's just easy then for me when I know that I'm gonna reach for something in that pocket. I, I know that I'm reaching for the one with the tassels on it because the zipper pulls tend to stay together and that way I can kind of discern the difference between the front pocket and the second pocket really easily and quickly. So I'm gonna start with the first pocket and this one I devote to diaper changes and outfit changes. So this part is really, really nice for packing it up. And again, because you have all of these pockets built in here, it's no big deal that this whole thing flops forward because everything is gonna be secure in a pocket. So I've got my white pouch 30, which I'm gonna put in one of the dividing pockets and my diapers in the other. These are two size three diapers. And if you're somebody who uses like a package of wipes like this as opposed to a wipe pouch, these also do fit. That one's pretty much empty, but I've put a full one in here with no problem. The wet bag is where I tend to store like my little diaper sacks in case I have a blowout diaper that needs to get thrown away. And then a change pad. These are the disposable ones from Munchkin. And then I put the girls' outfit changes in that front pocket. So I've got a pair of socks for either one. This is mainly if we go to like a play place and they need socks. A little one piece romper for my one year old. 4T dress for my four-year-old, and underwear. And honestly, I usually fold these up, but they never end up staying folded anyway, so I'm just gonna kind of bunch them all in there. And then it's nice, because you can get to it from the top zipper, or if you're hanging this, then you can get to it from the bottom zipper. Moving on to the middle pocket. 
this is where I kind of keep like anything else that I would be grabbing for on a regular basis and all of their snacks, which tends to be the bulk of what I'm carrying now. Our go stack, which has all of our goodies in it. And that goes right back here. An applesauce pouch and a little yogurt pouch that doesn't need to be refrigerated. I'll put that in the middle one. This is like my knockoff swell bottle, but this is the same as in the 17 ounce swell. And that fits really well in that last one. Snacks that I like to have for on top, I put in this front pocket up here. So I've got like some graham crackers and some fruit snacks. And then I have my little makeup kit, kit which is in a small set piece. Yes, this is my <laughs> one of the pouches that I like to use. This is a little spray bottle filled with some bug spray. I'm gonna tuck that right up here. Another pouch, this is all the hair stuff in it, just cause it has so many tiny, tiny little pieces. I love having this stuff in a pouch. I'll probably never give that up. One other pouch item is the first aid stuff. Just because we have band-aids and nail clippers and like little stuff that I don't wanna lose, I do keep that stuff in a medium set piece. This is from Jujubee and it's in the Duchess print. And that I just slide right down in the middle. So that's like the only thing that's not in a pocket is the medium set piece. Charging cord and cable down in one of those pockets and a bib, which I will also put um, up, up here. And those are all of my things. And there is still a ton of room in all of these pockets, but this one especially, I could absolutely put like my ring sling or my Anbuhimo, whatever carrier I'm using that day, that fits really well right in there, or a sweatshirt or a pair of shoes or all the other stuff that I end up carrying around, I feel like. And as you will see, I have the back pocket empty. <laughs> So that also has plenty of room to put something. But what I tend to leave this for is we're working on a house renovation right now. So I'm constantly collecting receipts and everything else for the bank. And so I have been using this kind of as my kind of mommy pocket basically for my big item stuff. So sometimes I'll slide like a be quick in here with all of my home renovation stuff. And then I can grab that out easily in case I need to get that. But this again would be a fantastic pocket to put like a big laptop in or whatever else. So that is the bag, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. This bag is honestly phenomenal. I don't really know all of the details about when it's coming out exactly. I think it's gonna be at about $130 mark or something around that neighborhood. And um, I think it's gonna be coming out in another color too. But again, I don't know these details for sure, so I can't confirm them. But this one is obviously in the black with the gold hardware, and I absolutely love it. I will leave any of the information that I can think of down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.